Hi, my name is Kim Gerlavich, and I'm a wildlife biologist with the United States Department of Agriculture's Wildlife Services Agency. Today I'd like to talk to you about a simple and safe technique to protect your property against damage caused by overabundant goose populations. This technique is called egg oiling. But before we get to that, I'd like to talk a little bit about the hazards involved with overabundant goose populations. Canada geese, one of the most common birds in the United States, are distinguished from other waterfowl by their large size, black head, and white cheek patch. Many residents enjoy the wildlife element that these birds bring to their suburban and urban environments. However, large goose populations often present a threat to public health and safety, causing damage to property, agriculture, and natural resources. The good news is that with a few simple tools and a partner, you can help stabilize or reduce goose population growth in your area. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service allows the public to treat Canada goose nests and eggs on their property during four months each year, from March 1st through June 30th. One way to manage goose problems is by reducing the hatch rate through a method called egg addling. The process involves temporarily removing eggs from the nest, manipulating them to stop development, and placing the eggs back in the nest. Returning the eggs to the nest misleads the goose into believing the egg is still developing. Otherwise, the goose would begin laying again in the same area. While there are other methods of treating goose eggs, today's demonstration will focus on the technique called egg oiling. Before getting started, you must first register online with the Fish and Wildlife Service at www.fws.gov forward slash permits. Click on News, Resident Canada Goose Nest Egg Registration. This can be done after January 1st of each year and must be renewed annually. Print a copy of the online registration confirmation for your records. Once you've registered, you'll need the following materials a data sheet to record information, online registration confirmation, a pencil and permanent marker, 100% corn oil, and an applicator such as a spray bottle or oil-soaked rag. Canada geese can be very aggressive toward humans when their nests are threatened and they can use their wings or body to deliver heavy blows. Because of this, a two-person team should conduct nest visitations. One should work the eggs while the other works off goose attacks using a shield such as a trash can lid, umbrella, or broom. A medium to large sized dog may also act as a natural predator. As you can see in the video, we use a paddle to shield ourselves from approaching geese. Never strike or attack the bird. Merely hold the shield or dog between yourself and the bird to prevent physical contact. Once you have your tools and a partner, you can get to work. Geese generally nest near water with a good view of the area and potential predators. Peninsulas and islands are common, as are nests in tall grass near mowed areas. Nests may also be located near barriers such as walls or buildings or even flat roofs. Once incubation has begun, the goose may be difficult to see. The male goose, known as the gander, will appear as a lone guard within a few hundred feet of the nest. Seeing a lone goose is one important sign that a nest is nearby and your egg oiling should be started. Goose nests are round or oval, built of vegetation such as dried grass, moss and other plant materials. A nest usually holds five to six eggs, but sometimes more. Once you have located the nest, approach with an attitude of confidence and control. The geese tend to be less aggressive if the team begins confidently rather than timidly. All eggs in the nest can be treated at the same time if they are warm to the touch, indicating incubation has begun. Mark each egg before oiling with a permanent marker to identify which eggs have been treated. This is really helpful if the eggs are cool, which means the goose may lay more eggs and you will need to return to the nest to treat additional eggs in the future. Once your eggs are marked, apply your 100% corn oil with your applicator or cloth. The oil should cover the entire shell, but a thick coating is not necessary. 
The oil blocks the eggshell pores to prevent continued development. The adult goose will remain on the nest beyond the expected hatching date, reducing or preventing the potential for re-nesting. It is not necessary to remove the oiled eggs later. The treated eggs don't harm the goose, and the adult geese will simply abandon the nest. Without goslings, the geese may respond better to dispersal techniques. When you are done for the season, don't forget to go back to the registration website and enter your report. This must be done by October 31st each year. The adult geese may return to the area the following year, so keep a record of where you found the nests and go to the same area next year. USDA Wildlife Services can help provide details about treating eggs to your area. For more info on egg oiling and other damage management techniques, call 1-866-4USDA-WS. Thank you.